Hey everybody, it's Robot here from Vespa Motorsport and ScooterWest.com. So the premier dealership in San Diego for the Vespa scooter, it's us, Vespa Motorsport. If you're looking for parts and accessories for your Vespa and your other parts of the United States, check us out on the web, ScooterWest.com. So today I have one of our customer's rides. Uh, we put this together several months ago. Uh, his name is Ted. He goes between Portland, Oregon, uh, Tucson, Arizona, and San Diego. So he originally purchased this scooter brand new from the dealership in Portland, Oregon, Vespa Portland, and he knew he wanted to do a little bit more. Even the guys up there just said, ah, go see those, those uh, robot down at Scooter West and he can um, trick it out and upgrade it the way you want. Uh, don't get me wrong, they do a lot of cool stuff too and they buy parts from us, so I'll give them props there. Uh, but so Ted brought the scooter down here. It was brand new, pretty much loaded in his van, dropped it off at our shop, and gave me a very organized list of exactly what he wanted. And voila, a couple weeks later, this is it. And I'll start from the front and move to the back. There's some very tasteful mods on the scooter. It's not overdone. In my opinion, it looks great. You know, it's just going for a real subtle, sporty look, you know, with the matte blue. This is a 2020 Super Sport Vespa GTS HPE. And he just wanted to get rid of some of the chrome and silver that looked kind of out of place and out of touch on the scooter and add some other high-end parts that give it a sporty appearance along with a sportier ride as well. So we'll start at the wheel. He's got the stock wheels with the Michelin City Grip tires that come on it, but he's done some tasteful up grades on the front suspension. So it's got the Bitubo front suspension set up. And you see the most flashy part on that is the four piston Brembo caliper with the Zaloni bracket. That's kind of a gunmetal gray finish. Uh, Brembo looks really cool. The classic Brembo is usually the gold with the red writing. Uh, they have the higher end uh, forged aluminum ones that come in uh, kind of a darker gunmetal gray. Also available in silver and black with various colors of the custom calipers. It's got the Melosi wave rotor. It's got the Note style gloss black painted uh, fork arm cover on there. And of course you want to get rid of those big gaudy chrome reflectors. There's color matched um, the matte blue Vivace um, R plugs. Uh, sometimes this, the stock is limited on those because there's so many different colors that we got to work on. And for the fender crest, uh, He's gone for the high-end Rizoma one. Uh, we have another version of that that's very similar, patterned after the HPE one. That's less costly, I did a video of that a couple of weeks ago. Uh, moving on up to the leg shields, you can see it's got the smoke set of running lights with the turn signals, the stock factory headlights in there. Um, but uh, a black headlight rim, just like you find on a racing 60s. The black leg shield trim specific for the Vespa HPE. It's got the smoked Piaggio badge that we do the custom at our paint shop here at Scooter West. And it's a little hard to get, but this is a smoked chrome badge from the 2011-2012 Super Sport GTS. And we still have those available. They're a very popular option. Again, look in the description of the video and you'll see the part numbers for those. So the scooter's got a, uh, a pair of uh, higher end bar end mirrors. Um, we have this uh, CG US made mirrors available, the bar end mirrors. It's got the Rizoma grips and the MG Bike Tech adjustable black machine aluminum levers on it. And if you're wondering how you're gonna hold your phone, of course, RAM mounts are always the best universal all around mount. Uh, this is the most secure one. This is the, uh, the quick mount, comes in both a large size and a smaller size. And it's got the, the link and the mounting package that has like the 45 degree link. Um, this is great if you're doing um, bar and mirrors where you have access to the the hole for the existing stock mirrors of course there's other ones like the x grip there's quad lock i mean quad lock's great but it also works with the ram ball system cool thing about this whole setup is you don't want it 
want to go for the sporty look, you know where you're going, don't need the phone for navigation. Uh, you're just left behind with the ball, so it comes off pretty easy. But as everybody knows, can't be without your mobile phone on any circumstances for most people these days. So very popular option, any of the RAM um, phone hol holsters. I uh, got the standard speedometer. It's just uh, the Super and the Super Sport speedometer, which is red and white uh, colors for the LEDs. It's got the, the matte black uh, deco ring or whatever you want to call it, the bezel that goes around the speedometer. Uh, the one mirror plug that's is remaining has the Vespa Motorsport custom aluminum mirror hole plugs. Uh, this is sold as a pair, so if you're not going to do a ram mount on your left mirror, you can plug both holes if you're doing a bar and mirror setup. And maybe you're on a budget, we have the much less expensive bar and mirror setups, very popular. Uh, you go with any of the name brand stuff, they're quite expensive for the mirrors. Uh, of course, the quality goes up. They're typically made in Europe or United States, so you're paying for um, just higher quality machining and a better look for those nicer quality mirrors. Uh, it's got the, the charge port, the quick charge 3.0 with the voltmeter. So you can see your standby voltage if I start the scooter is gonna go up, but 12.6, you know, if you leave the, um, the key on for a moment. It's got the black, black bag hook Vespa Motorsport exclusive part, all aluminum. And in place of the standard badging, it's got the Super Sport badge on the glove box. That badge just looks so good. I don't know why they just did that badge for two years and they were done with it, but fortunately you can still get that badge. And the one hidden thing is the Rizoma grills for the exhaust exit of your radiators. Very high quality part, all machined aluminum. Uh, we've done pretty good with those. A lot of people buy them despite them being a quite a pricey option. But if you're looking for subtle, nice stuff, uh, definitely these radiator guards or not radio guards. I'm thinking dirt bikes here. Uh, the exit vents are a tasty mod to add to your Vespa GTS. So for the rear, it has a silver belt cover replaced with the matte black Scooter West exclusive belt cover. Another thing that was done on there is the oil pan has been powder coated black as well. Uh, excuse, there is a little bit of dirt on it. Ted actually uses this scooter quite a bit and didn't really have the opportunity to fully detail it. But I love when people use their scooters versus just make a beauty queen that goes in the living room. Um, these things are meant to be used. And of course with use, you're gonna get some dirt on some stuff and it gives you all the fun of uh, detailing on your um, days off as well. Um, for the foot peg, it's got the all black foot peg. This is custom powder coated. The Note foot pegs that we typically sell, this is black, but the bracketry is typically um, zinc plated. So you see the zinc plating, but if you fold these out, they, every part of it's been black powder coated. So that's a little custom touch. So for the tail of the scooter, instead of the regular grab rail, he's got the sport rack. I'll look in the description for that part number, but the very tasty mod is the tail light upgrade. Uh, it's got a matte black custom painted bezel along with a tinted lens that we do here at Scooter West. This is a stock HPE tail light, the LED tail light looks great to begin with, uh, works very well, and even when it's tinted, it's rather bright. But in addition to that, he's got the, the smoke turn signal set and they light up very bright so you get plenty of tail lights for added safety even though you're going for that very slick raced out blacked out look on the rear when the lights are off. So we're on the right side it's got the modern Acropovic exhaust system along with the carbon fiber header guard and moving up to this side skirt or fairing uh, reflector deletes with the plugs that fill in the holes of course, some people go as far on their customs to replace these parts or fill the holes and have them repainted. Uh, but it looks very good, much better than having those uh, big chrome reflectors. And what's better than just one Super Sport batch? Two of them. So the standard GTS uh, Super badge or whatever that's normally here, I think it just says GTS on this side for this year, has been replaced with a Super Sport badge. And it looks pretty cool. 
So I gotta give Ted all the credit for the seat. We sold him the sport single saddle seat and he wasn't happy with just the standard Vespa upholstery job, which is just kind of black with white piping. Uh, wanted to have a custom touch that matches scooter very well. So he took it to an upholstery shop, um, had the diamond double stitch pleating on there on this blue that matches the bodywork of the scooter very closely. And then this is kind of a vinyl carbon fiber look pattern. And I like the upholstery shop he used. I think they were in Arizona. I don't know who did it. They did a very nice job. Everything's very tight on the seat and they made their own piping, which I like. That's how Cheeky Seats does their seat covers as well. They make their own piping. It's a lot better than uh, just the piping that comes on the standard seat. But I thought this was pretty cool. They took the tag off the original seat and sewed it back into the seat. So that's kind of a nice touch. And if you're looking to do a seat cover like this on the budget without the hassle of finding a local upholstery shop, you know, keep in mind there's a scooter seat seat cover specialist in Pennsylvania, uh, Cheeky Seats. Just search for them, Cheeky Seats. I'll give them a little shout out. They've done some really cool seats for the crew here at Vespa Motorsport and many of our customers here in San Diego as well. But if you're going, want to go the extra mile and want to direct an upholstery shop, you could certainly contract a local upholstery shop to do something like this. So thanks again for watching. I hope that inspired you on tricking out your own Vespa to do it yourself or Maybe you'd want to contract us at Vespa Motorsport to do something like this with your brand new scooter. Maybe you got an older scooter and want to dress it up. Hopefully all these ideas help you out. And like I suggested, we got various price ranges of things like these bar and mirrors. Uh, from just the standard range one, which is a pair, a decent looking bar and mirrors, to high end name brand parts from Rizoma, MG Bike Tech, Brembo. Uh, very nice parts, but you know you get different price ranges uh, depending on what your budget is for the build. Of course, with a new build, uh, if you're like me, I always like going for the nicest stuff, just like the tools here at Vespa Motorsport. I typically just buy the snap-on stuff, and I know it's 10 times more, but it just looks nicer and feels nicer. And my techs, like I'd say, I've, I would guess they feel better about using nice tools, so. Uh, despite paying a lot, I think uh, the return on investment is always there, especially when you're going to keep your scooter or keep your tools, for example. So why not make it your own and do some custom stuff? Again, if you're looking for any of the part numbers, any of these products, look at that list in the description of this video. Thanks again for watching. This is Robot here from Vespa Motorsport here in San Diego, California. Find us on the web. You know how to search for us, Vespa Motorsport for our dealership, ScooterWest.com for our mail order Vespa, especially in parts and accessories. Until next time, Robot here.